Hi, I'm Kelly and today I'm going to show you how to make this pendant. For those of you who have made my earrings tutorial, and it literally is called Kelly's Earrings Tutorial, I made this originally to match those earrings. I'll find a picture. So this is a, a pendant to match those earrings. Um, I'll put a list in the description below of everything you'll need to make this, um, all the wire gauges and lengths and there's links to my Facebook page and my Etsy shop where I sell my PDF tutorials if anyone's interested in those. And please subscribe if you want more free tutorials and thanks to everybody who has already. To make this pendant you'll need 0.8mm wire, that's 20 gauge, and today I'm using power wire. So that's 0.8mm, 20 gauge, and my weaving wire is 28 gauge, which is 0.315mm if you're in the UK. I've got quite a little cap here. Mine is eight millimeters by 10, 12, eight millimeters by 12. And I'm using a little teardrop. You could use a little circular one if you want to. And I've got a little two millimeter bead. You can use any little size bead that you like. Tools, I've got my pliers round nose pliers, wire cutters. There's affiliate links in the descriptions below to all the tools if you're interested in having a look and having a look at what tools I, I use. So of my 0.8mm wire, the 20 gauge, I've cut three lengths at 12 inches, which is 31 centimetres. The weaving wire I've rolled onto a bobbin and you'll need about 150 centimetres. So I've rolled mine onto the bobbin. I'll put a link in the description below as well to these bobbins if you want to go and check those out. My wire is rose gold coloured silver plated power wire, just so you know. So those are the wire lengths. So we're going to start roughly in the middle of the wire. So find the middle point and take your weaving wire and we're going to start with three wraps around the bottom wire. That's my little dog making all the noise. Then we'll go once around the bottom two wires up between those two wires, go straight over the top, under the bottom wire. So we're just strapping all those wires together really. Then come up between the bottom two wires, over the top, under and over the second wire again. That really is my dog making all that noise. And then we'll go around the bottom wire three times. I'll show you a picture of it. Now we're going to take the top wire and we're going to bend it up and take your round nose pliers and grip it quite close to the bottom of the pliers so we've got quite a big loop we're going to make. And then take this wire and go all the way around your round nose pliers like that. So the wire comes back In line. 
So we've got a nice loop. Then we'll carry on as we just did around the bottom two, or between those bottom two, over the top, under the bottom and over the second one. Between the bottom two, over the top again, under the bottom wire and over the second. So we're just doing the opposite of what we've got on the other side. And we go three wraps around that bottom wire to finish it off. So really we're just holding all the wires together. You can do whatever you like, whatever weave you like to pin it all together. And now we'll trim the wire at both ends. So I'm going to pull it a little first. So now take your pliers. We're going to grip it roughly in the middle. We're going to bend the whole thing. And you need this angle to be roughly the angle of your little stone. If you're using a round one, a round stone, you can either put a peak on the bottom like I am and then add the stone a little bit further up here, holding it in place. Or you can wrap the wire straight around the round part of the stone and have a round bottom part. But because mine is a teardrop, I want that shape to match the shape of my stone. A little bit tight. I'm just going to pull it apart a little bit. And my stone is very rounded, so it's going to be a bit tricky to hold. But when you've got the first part of the shape how you want it, try and hold it in place. And we'll just gently shape the wires around the stone, trying not to let them cross over each other. It's not the easiest thing to do. You've kind of got that shape. Then you want to bend your wires straight up. So you've got that kind of shape. And I'm just going to tweak with that for a minute. So that's the shape I'm looking for. The stone is going to sit here at the bottom and we're going to have a little gap at the top. And this ring at the bottom, grab that and we'll bend that so it's flat. So that's the shape we're looking for. So now we'll secure the top of the wires. You leave yourself a short tail. And holding all the wires together so they don't cross over each other too. You want to keep them all lying next to each other. I want to go around that tire piece about five times. And then pick one of the wires at the back. And wrap around that. That'll secure our wire. Hold it all in place. 
I'm going to go around that wire three times. That's my dog snoring now, she's finished playing. And take the tail end. And we'll go around either side, all three wires. Pulling it nice and tight. We'll clip that wire there so it finishes off on the inside. Flatten it down. So now we're going to fit our stone, so hold it in place. I've turned to the back. So we'll do the back first, which is kind of like a, like a test run. So we can get the back tidy, have a little practice. So I'm going to bend this back wire. I'm going to bend it in at the bottom. So I'll do it with my nail first, just to get it started. And then take your pliers and grab the wire at the bottom. I'm going to put a nice sharp bend at the bottom there. And then take the wire at the other side, try and grip it in the same place. Try and put the same angle on the bend. Not the easiest to do, but that's the back. So that'll hold the stone in nicely. And we're going to turn over to the front. We're going to do a similar thing at the front to hold the stone in. Like I say, mine's rounded, so mine's really awkward. If you've got a nice flat backed one, it should sit in a lot easier. So I'm pulling the front wires out, get it started. Just makes a gap for me to get the pliers in there. Then I grab it at the bottom and I bend it in and I, I'm holding the wire back with my thumb here so that the whole wire doesn't bend across the stone. It keeps it back like that. Keep pushing the stone down, grab the wire on the other side. Again I'm holding it back with my finger here so we're getting a, a nice shape on the actual piece and that should hold the stone in nicely. This is a little sunstone, it's quite sparkly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hold the stone at the bottom and I'm just going to squeeze just a little bit on the top. Just a little bit of pressure, it just keeps the stone pushed down, kind of secures everything. So now we need to sort our wires out, making sure they haven't crossed over. We should have a wire at the front, a wire at the back on both sides. And we're going to take the two wires at the front, that's what we're going to start with. So bring them together and we're going to weave over those two wires. I like to just bend them out a little bit towards the ends, so as I'm weaving I can get between the wires. We'll bring this wire around. So it's at the bottom there, ready to start on these two. And we'll have three wraps around the bottom wire. And three wraps around 
both wires. And that's our repeat. Three wraps around the bottom wire, three wraps around both wires, and we'll keep repeating that. So we'll repeat this weave ten times. So when you've done your repeats, we're going to bend this one over to the right of the base. And then we're going to curve it over to the left. So we've got a nice shape at the top there. And then we're going to shape our wires because we're now going to work. We're going to do a nice weave that goes across open wires now. So we just want to shape our wires a little bit so they come around like that. And we'll continue weaving. So we've wrapped three times around the bottom wire, that was the last part of our weave, so we go straight over the top and we go three times around the top wire, over the bottom wire and then we'll go three times around that bottom wire and that's our repeat. So you go over the opposite wire and then around three times. Over the opposite wire. And we go around three times. Now we're going to keep doing this weave and as you go, you've got to be careful not to pull these wires back together. We need them to keep that nice consistent gap all the way down. So keep weaving across these wires all the way down here. And don't let the wires come together as you go in. Try and keep a nice gap in the middle. So as you're repeating this weave, make sure you keep compressing your weave together as you go, but keep shaping your wires as you go. So I want this bottom wire to shape nicely around the stone and meet at the ring there. And I want the top one to shape out next to it, but it also needs to meet the ring at the bottom. So you want that kind of shape, that's what you want it to look like as you go in. So I've finished my weave. So my wires come out and then they gently curve back in towards each other. So you need, really need to take your time on this weave because this is the main thing you see about this pendant. We want it to look nice. So when you've reached the bottom and your weave reaches past the ring, cut that weaving wire off. take those wires and we're going to bend them through the ring. I've got one longer than the other so I'm just going to make them both the same length, makes it a bit easier. So then I'm going to pop, pop both those wires through the ring and you've got to do this without misshaping this bit too much. So I'm holding this still so this bit doesn't bend. to come down there and sit nicely next to the stone like that. So that's the first part done. 
And like I say, that's the main thing that you see really on this pendant. So that needs to be the bit you take the time on the most so it's nice and tidy. So moving back up to the wires at the top, we're going to go for the wires on the left side. I'm going to separate them. Taking the middle one, so that's the next one in line. I bring it back and I'm going to shape it around to follow the scoop that the weave did. And I'm going to do the same with the next one. Bend it back, scoop it around. And I'm going to let that one come forward a bit. a nice pattern happening and then holding these two wires firmly so that they don't miss shape we're going to post these wires through the gap above the stone there have crossed over. So it is a bit fiddly and this power wire is a little bit tough to bend. That's my excuse. So get those curls how you want them to sit. And then pull the wires around those wires there. If you can get it close to the stone, it'll hold the stone in place. So I'm going to go around again. I've got one wire longer than the other. Click that extra bit off just to make it easier. Pop the wires through again. This is just to secure them now and it'll hold the stone in place as well. Just going to keep pulling it till it's nice and secure. I'm going to leave the first wire, the second wire, I'm going to bring around. I'm going to finish that one into a curl at the front there. But this other wire, I'm going to clip that one off at the back. So that will hold in place there. And then this one is going to be a curl here. About there. So around those pliers, clip in the very tip, pull it round to complete the curl to start with, and then I keep curling it a bit further. I'm just going to pull that in. So that's what we've got so far. You can do the same with these bottom wires to finish those off too. So we keep the theme. Post them through the ring again. And if you're using silver filled wire or even copper wire, it'll be easier to handle than this. I love the power wire but it is quite tough to manage. So I'm going to leave the top one back like I did before. The other one I'm going to bring over to the front, bring it round into a curl. 
like I did before. I'll take this one. Oh, it's my bead trying to escape. Cut that one off as I did before. And squeeze that one into place. Toss it between the wires. And then this one, I'm going to curl. About there. It's up to you how you finish these wires. You can have longer curls or shorter curls than me. You can do it anything you want with it really. So I'm going to grab the tip. Bend it around to complete a curl and then bend it around a bit more. Pull it over like I did before. So that's what we've got so far. Oh we're going to need a little jump ring to go through the top there. I do always forget to mention the jump rings. So now to finish off these other two wires that we've got left on the right hand side. I'm going to start with the back one. I'm going to scoop that around. Like that. And then this one. I'm going to scoop this one around. The wire has just gone to the back there. And I'm going to pop a bead on it. So I'm going to bend it around. Put a bead on at that angle, I think. Mine's a 2 mil bead. You can use any size little bead you like, as long as it'll fit on the wire. And I'll take that wire around again and it's a bit tricky to do because you're not leaning on anything. If you're leaning on a stone, it's a lot easier to handle the wire. So try and lean on your finger. Just got a little curl there with a the bead on. I do like the silver beads with the gold, rose gold wire. And I shall use a little silver jump ring as well. And then we just need to finish off these two wires on this side. Now we've got two options here. We can either bend these wires and feed them through and try and get it to go behind the weave so it just wraps around those three bare wires. Or we can cut them short and then curl them around with round nose pliers and try and get them to go just around the three wires. So it's up to you what you want to do. My wires keep trying to cross over. I think I'm going to have a go of posting them round. Holding them here because I want to try and keep the shape. It's going to be a bit fiddly. So I'm going to go behind the three, but between the weave. If you want to just cut it and bend it round with the round nose pliers, it might be a little bit easier. So I'm going to keep fiddling that round until it's tidy and wrapping around the three will secure the stone on this side. So I've pulled it tight. And now I'm going to cut the wires and bend them around finish them off so they sit on the inside so you haven't got any ends sticking out. It's a problem with coated wire as soon as you twitch it with your pliers comes off. So there we have it. I've just got to put my jump ring in the top. So there we have it. Cute little pendant for you to play around with and a few new techniques.
Hope you find this tutorial easy to follow. And please subscribe and thanks to everybody who has already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.